Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your end of June tarot reading. This is for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that this reading may not resonate with you. There's no way that I can read every single person. Generally my readings are love readings. We're going to get one of these and one of these. If it flips out while I'm shuffling, you will get to see it now. Otherwise we will reveal it at the end. And I'd like to ask you not to leave any negative comments below about another sign. It's okay to tell your experience, but don't mention that sign because I don't bash other signs. You know, because I, I, I just don't. So anyway, um, so if you could just be considerate, that would be great. And I know that's not typically you, Pisces, but the cross watchers do that. And I, don't, I know that you guys don't t aren't typically that way. Um, again, this is for the sign of Pisces, end of June. 25th through July 1st or whenever it resonates with you because the timing is fluid. Now I had done this reading, I started the reading, I just barely started the reading a minute ago and the battery died instantly. So the battery died. Something, I have to tell you that's a message, okay? Something, the battery could be dead, okay? The, the time has run out, it's, it's over. The time has run out in a situation. Pisces, end of June. Ah, Nine of Cups reversed. There's a lack of wish fulfillment here. There's a lack of happiness. Ego could have gotten in the way. This is an ego card. Okay, and it's reversed. So, you know, it feels as though ego could have gotten in the way, gotten in the way, and therefore there's no wish fulfillment in something. <laughs> Somebody, um, I may have some addictions or some obsessions with the devil card. Somebody, and that, this could be, probably is you, feeling withdrawn, detached, cold, unemotional, unable to communicate or open yourself up emotionally, not wanting to see the reality of a situation, but, but really not feeling grateful, not feeling um, abundant with some situation, okay? Something is getting in the way, and it's, and it's lies, it's lies. Something is getting in the way of your own happiness. And it has to do with your inability to master your emotions and communicate. There's, there's definitely withdrawal, cold, detached here. I'm detached. I'm, I'm withdrawn. And you may be masking your feelings with addictions. Mm. Yeah, something has ended. Something is dead with the death card. Something is dead. It's ended. Whew. Oh. So yeah, there's a major completion here in your life. It's a major incompletion, um, a major, major completion in your life. Um, somebody has given up, okay? Somebody has given up the fight, no longer wanting to, to put effort into something. I feel like there has been some disorder, there has been some chaos, and you know, you are being called to do the right thing, to act with integrity here, because this is a card of integrity. This is also the sign of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Capricorn here. We have Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer right here. I think this is probably your energy being detached and um, 
withdrawn from offering your heart to somebody and therefore <coughs> it's ending because you're being something is ending because of um, lack of emotion lack of ability to express emotion now the basis of this whole reading is this page of pentacles this is where you need to find the backbone to your moral backbone to do the right thing. That's what the Page of Pentacles does. Maybe offer an apology. This is an apology. Okay. Um, this Page of Pentacles um, signals the moment when you find the in integrity and begin to use your moral backbone to rise above your own emotions and take charge of a situation but somebody hasn't wanted to so they may be trying to escape if somebody's been trying to escape and and mask their their hurt and their feelings with some sort of addiction okay um it feels as though there is a a bond here with the devil card there is a bond that is undeniable but somebody is moving on from this bond Okay, somebody sees. This is how others see you. Others see others see you as moving on. They see that you've moved on. Therefore, there's there's no wish fulfillment. If somebody it was hoping to to get back together with you or whatever, they see that you've moved on. There's no wish fulfillment, so it feels as though they're answering the call. Okay, somebody is is seeing the truth of this situation and they're releasing. They are releasing. Somebody is releasing. So whether it's you or the other person, somebody is releasing. Um, your challenge is this nine of wands. This is in your challenge position. This is um, confidence. It's, it's doubt and fear. That's your challenge. Your challenge is confidence. Your challenge is facing your fears and overcoming your doubts. You know, you doubted that somebody was going to have a new beginning with you. You let the fear hold you back. It didn't communicate. Didn't communicate. Didn't remained detached and withdrawn therefore I feel somebody felt like you didn't see their worth or you, they, you weren't grateful for them so they they ended it they ended it so or this could go vice versa and I forgot to say that in one of your readings a few ways back this can always go vice versa this can be you or the person that you're dealing with okay so your your main outcome here is the judgment card this is karma you are dealing with a karmic connection there is absolutely no doubt about it and it feels as though um, this is a wake-up call because this is the outcome. The judgment card is a wake-up call, okay? A wake-up call in regards to uh, something ending, okay? So you, you're probably receiving some sort of wake-up call, okay? Um, And I do see a new beginning here, okay? There's something that is ending that is that was probably toxic, Pisces. There's a there's something that is ending that was probably toxic that you were um, karmically connected to. Perhaps this karmic tie is now um, finally ending, okay? Because I do see a new beginning here in the future. You do have a new beginning. New beginning. Um, but it feels as though you still feel like you have one more chance left, okay? You see? He's whole, God, there's one in front of him. So out of all these chances in the back, there's still one more chance. So that's your challenge. You're probably still wondering, thinking that there's still one more chance or somebody else is. Somebody is thinking, you know what, there's still one more opportunity here to make this work. You know, I have the strength um, or I can find the strength. But somebody, you know, I can see that you right here being in the reverse are not communicating you're not communicating you're feeling detached cold and withdrawn at this time therefore it is bringing some disorder to your life in loss so you know your advice is to make a decision you've been very indecisive it's like you've been back and forth back and forth back and forth regarding this decision whether to offer one more chance or not so I think that's what I see here I feel like Somebody has been masking their real feelings with addictions because they didn't couldn't come up with the the backbone, the moral backbone to apologize perhaps or take charge of a situation. Therefore, something is actually ending. Okay, there is an ending here. The death card is an ending. Okay, it's also a transformation though. So you could be going through some sort of transformation right now that is leading you down a new path. 
I do see that you are moving on from something. Um, a door is closing. Absolutely, a door is closing. Nines are closure. Okay, so I feel like a door is closing um, that stayed open. Nine, nine, nine. This door has stayed open for a long time, and whoever that you're dealing with is. You know, I feel like somebody has decided it is done. It is over. It's over. Um, let's get some clarifiers here. Look at that. Somebody, they've just, somebody has, this is advice. Okay, this is in your advice position. You, you know, you have remained emotionally unavailable. You have, and, and they see that. Somebody sees that. And if you, and if you want love, you're going to have to open up your heart. There's lack of emotion. You need to get out there. You need to follow your dreams, and you haven't. Therefore, you're feeling empty inside. You're incomplete. There's a cycle that is incomplete here, according to you. Or somebody else, like I said, this can be vice versa. Somebody is feeling very empty and lost on the inside. And feeling very disorganized with their own thoughts. Trying to escape reality because they don't want to own up. They don't want to find the backbone. They don't want to apologize. Don't want to be held accountable. Therefore, somebody's moving on from a toxic situation, whether this is you or this person. Somebody is moving on from a toxic situation. <sighs> Let's talk about your challenge over here, this Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is about strength. It's about, look how far you've come. Do you really want to give this all up? This is all the experiences you've had as well. Look how far you've come. Yeah, you've been wounded. You've been hurt. Do you really, are you ready? Are you ready to give all this up? Are you ready to close this door? Because as far as I'm concerned, two nines are reversed. One of them is up right. You, the battery is absolutely at the very end. Two of them are reversed. There's this, there's, time is absolutely running out. Look how far you've come. You want to lose it all? Is that what you want? Do you want to lose it all? I think you are on the edge. The Knight of Wands is on the edge. You are on the edge of this door being locked. Outcome. Future and outcome. The future is a new beginning. And the outcome is accepting the truth. Outcome and future. Oh my goodness, you need to take steps. You need to take steps. This is a test. You are being tested. The Knight of Pentacles is a test. Your strength is being tested. Your willpower is being tested. Do you even really know? Do you know what you want? Because it looks like you refuse to become aware. Somebody does not want to become aware of their part in this situation. Going through a midlife crisis, perhaps. Stalling. You've been stalling, stalling, stalling. Because your emotions are out of whack. Unable to communicate for fear. For the fear and doubt. The fear and doubt that you will be accepted. How long will a battery last? Not forever. Batteries don't last forever. Especially if you don't recharge it. So this hermit reverse says that you, you know, you could, you could end, I mean, this is growing old loan. And this one too. If you need to open your heart, you need to communicate, you need to make yourself emotionally available, Pisces. You need to take steps. Clinging to the past. Somebody from your past. Oh, son of a gun. <sighs> 
So in the future, perhaps you're going to take steps towards a new beginning with somebody from your past. I don't know. I don't know if that's what you want. I really don't. You guys are in denial. I know you are. I know you are. It's 100% the truth. I've watched a lot of the Pisces readings, and you're in denial. Um, yeah. Fear. Or fear. You guys have... Uh, fear like this could be unrealistic. You know, what if, what if this is unrealistic? I'm afraid to invest. I'm afraid to invest and then get shut down. If I invest, what will this bring to me? Some of you are going through a lot of uh, emotional disappointment, mental disappointment right now. You're feeling, you're feeling, uh, lost emotionally but you're being offered the raw truth from above this is the raw truth you're being offered the power for another chance somewhere because the judgment card is another chance i think somebody wants another chance for, with you but you're refusing to give it I think you're leaving that love behind. You are. You're leaving that love behind. And because you're leaving it behind, the door is absolutely closing. And all that you have gained is about to be lost in that relationship. Another nine. <laughs> Reversed. Somebody's letting go. Somebody's letting go of this anxiety. They're letting go of the despair. They're letting go of the worry. I'm no longer going to leave this door open. It's time for me to come out of this darkness and see the light. Because I want something solid and you don't. Somebody is turning away from this, this, this stability, this security, this prosperity, this abundance. Turning away from it. There's no more growth here. There's no more fertility. Fertility. There's no more spark. It's died. There's sadness, sadness over this loss. But the fact of the matter is, is you've refused to offer a new beginning, to open yourself up emotionally. And whoever you're dealing with sees that. They see that. So what advice do we have for Pisces at the end of June? I need advice. This, these next three cards are advice. What advice do you have for Pisces at the end of June in regards to following their heart? Should they follow their heart? Should they follow their heart? Or should they let their ego get in the way? Decisions, decisions, reluctance. Decisions, decisions, reluctance. Your advice. The Five of Wands is about no more games. I'm not going to play this game anymore. 
This is the end of a karmic contract because we have karma here and karma here. Indecision is bringing an end to a contract because you've been stalling, sitting on the fence, unable to see the truth and blocking your emotions. Avoidance, avoidance. That's, look the card up if you don't like it. Somebody has been avoiding their true feelings, blocking their emotions, blocking the truth, and they're about to get a serious wake-up call because the door is about to be closed and locked forever. It is, it is. Because this contract is coming to an end. That's what you want, right? You want to let it all go. You want to let it all go. The, all the experiences, the, all the everything. You're ready to just let it go, right? Because I hope that's what you want because that's what's happening. If you have any doubt what you do, you might as well let it go because it's it's the door is absolutely closing. You may just want to focus on your finances at this time. Maybe you want to focus on your, your outer abundance rather than your inner abundance. Maybe you want to focus on, on money more than you do love. Maybe you don't have time for love. But it feels as though you do have a, a new opportunity coming. You do. You do have a new opportunity that will lead to stability and security. If you stop resisting change, if you stop resisting your, your truth, there is still an opportunity. Could be that one more chance I was talking about. I don't know. It's a one. There's an opportunity for a, a new beginning here. There is. The Five of Cups reverse is beginning to realize the truth over the judgment card. Perhaps somebody does decide to be, realize the truth and make an offer of something stable and secure and stop playing games with their mind. This is inner conflict, power struggles, resisting change. Blocking the truth, avoiding the truth about a love connection. The worst thing you can possibly do is deceive yourself. Cheat yourself of something stable and secure because you are unable to re you're unable to, to change, unable, unable to, to change. You're giving it up. Therefore, it's going away. It's a terrible self-betrayal to let your emotions get the best of you. And that is absolutely what is happening. Trying to escape reality, trying to mask the pain with addictions, to not because you don't want to be held accountable for your actions. Now this is you or whoever you're dealing with. Oh, son of a gun. Make the effort. <laughs> it sums up the whole reading. These cards, they always do that too. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. The battery is on E. And that is no joke. You're about to lose it all forever. Make the effort. And I'm talking about love here. 
whether it's you or the person you're dealing with. The end is near. So close that I can see it. Oh, jeez, um, oh, forgiveness. Oh, son of a bitch. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Do you? Or do you deny that too? Can you not forgive? And follow your heart? So at the end of June, it's about making the effort and forgiving and recharging that battery before it is unredeemable. Talk to you later.